Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to a new Raid Shadow Legends video. I've missed you guys. I haven't created videos probably for over a week now, but work has been, well, is <laughs> pretty tough this week. So that's why I stopped creating videos or I don't, I don't have time, but I wanted just to say a quick hi and to discuss a couple of things with you. Uh, the game news that's happening this week and next week in Raid while we're between Fusions, Emic, and whatever they are giving us uh, for September, I guess. And a couple of tech tips that can uh, benefit you if you're running Raid using your PC, like myself, like a lot of people are, and not on mobile, uh, only on your phones. So yeah, let's dive right into it. What do we have? What I'm doing on my account, so main I'm not doing much. On my Ecclesia account, I'm definitely building Emic and a clan boss uh, team around him. I'll show you what I moved up to from my budget and killable that I'm running now. News in game, we have two things happening. We have the UDK Titan event. So basically, if you collect those points from events, I don't know, over the few weeks or whatever, you'll get a four star UDK. The rewards are, some rewards are good, like that void chart. I think as the last one, you get a couple of good things, but is it absolutely worth it when you're getting out of nudes in Emic and you're resource drained? No, it's not just relax uh, for a considerable amount of you as well for those who don't play raid for too long you, you won't have udk anyways so this is a good time to just relax between uh, the fusions or build your teams and work on other stuff you need to take a break every now and then from this game so you won't get burned out the other thing happening this week which is good if you're if you went for emic which is a more probably like more of you watching this video right now will have emic than udk there is a four star uh perfect soul for emic as a reward for this uh, champ training tournament so if your group is not crazy you see it's just like probably second day my group is still like they are they have pretty high points but if you are in an okay group and you have a few champs to work on and train that's very good reward for champ training for your group just beware so someone won't snipe you last minute i have a video about this watch it and maybe you will do this this time so that's about the game oh there is another piece of news happening in game so next week yeah it's visible i couldn't get a bigger picture because i'm not in the content creator program yet but yeah next week so tuesday the 22nd of august 2023 if you're watching that video later we will have sun wukong as a free login champ, a free legendary login champ, when you log in seven days uh, into the game from September to I don't know when, from August to September or whatever. But anyways, he got a good kit. So he would, he will be, as everybody's expecting, a good arena nuker, but also he's a good uh, buff stripper. And he will apply block buffs on a three turn cooldown uh, if booked. Uh, so you can focus on his accuracy and use him as your buff stripper and block buffs champ in Hydra. Uh, the only thing is that Ugo is cheaper to book because she's an unvoid epic. Well, she's an epic. It doesn't matter what affinity. Uh, he's a Lego and he needs those books, but he's a good champ overall. If you don't have someone filling uh, those roles, he can strip buffs. He can hit and ignore defense. So he will be a good addition addition to your roster um, and a good buff stripper if you don't have anyone filling that role yet even without the block buffs but he'll be a good buff stripper for arena who can do some damage so definitely a good free login champ that we're getting there so that's that covers all the news that's happening in the game right now let's go into the tech tips that i want to tell you about so was it last week maybe i was watching rats video and rats for those of you who don't know him he is like i think he fi he finished top plat uh 11th time now <laughs> really one of the arena krakens in the game and it's enjoyable to watch his videos his builds and all of that stuff anyways what caught my attention when he had the video for his most recent uh, plat push that he won is that he was running two instances of plarium play will plat the game on top of plarium play on the same pc I could see this because he had one of like let me show you 
basically I'll show you and then we'll talk about it, okay? So he had something very similar to what I'm showing on the screen. He had a Plarium Play instance where he was running his Arena Battles and he had a second account with the Plat rating open so he can just monitor where he is and <coughs> sorry, how many points he's behind uh, or uh, in front of some of the other players. So I started researching how can I run two instances of play and play because you can only run one instance of play and play on your PC. Um, my shout out to my clan mate rugby runner he helped me with this and he helped me with RSL helper which would be one of the second tips for today. But when we looked, let me just go to this one first. He sent me this video and I just followed the instructions from it. It's for one of uh, the content creators. I'm not sure if Kalubovic. Uh, is still creating content for Raid. The video is a bit old, but it's still working. I tested it. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put the links for with videos I'll talk about in the video below. Basically, what he's explaining in the video, let me just go back to this, how this works. And I have it screenshotted here, so you can follow up there. Probably you cannot see the account behind me, but you open Play and Play on your PC. And that works only, of course, on PC. Then you just run Plarium and then yeah let's uh wait till the game is up and running wait till the game is running and you do a couple of arena battles or whatever okay second step you'll do now when the game is running probably that's uh, using uh, something that uh, i didn't know that it existed if you try to gracefully close Plarium play it's going to close the game as well but they are running as two separate processes on your uh, PC as you see here on my task manager so the next step is to hit control art and delete get into the, your task manager and kill stop on play and play so just click on play and play and on in task click on play and play not on rate shadow legends what this will do it will close play and play but the game instance will keep running so you can then start play and play again switch the account switch your secondary account or whatever and you'll have both of them running at the same time and then you can resize them so you can see them side by side so what can you use this for you can use this to run two instances of play and play the graphics and the smoothness of the game is better than blue stacks for example but of course you won't have like the macros that you can run on blue stacks by the way this is one of the other um, tech tips if you want to know how to run uh, macros on blue stacks you can have like infinite multi battles or how to do that using RSL helper which is second point I'll show today if you want the blue stacks one there is several videos about it but if you want me to create a refresher video to tell you how you can do it in blue stacks put it in the comments below if I find a few comments I'll create a video about it so that's how you can run two instances of play and play a lot of us running the game on PC are using RSL helper the great tool created by Farbstoff to um, just help them do multi battles, sell artifacts, do sham training, and all of that stuff. Great tool. I have my concerns about uh, it controlling the background processes on the PC, not because of anything. Farbstoff is a great guy, but the thing is, anyone can utilize this just to as a backdoor to your PC. Anyway. I'm not sure how the security is handled on Zen 1, but I'm using it. I started using it because it's so useful. My point is, RSL Helper is a bit complex. So, if you want to know, which is the second tech tip, how to run uh, RSL Helper, especially in specific points that I'll say right now, MTG Jedi has an excellent video. Well, he had more than one, but I'm talking about this one that I will share in the links below. Yeah, I hope it's visible here explaining how to run multi-battles using RSL Helper and more import importantly because this is the more complex part how to create your own list from one of the other tabs of which gear you keep and which gear you sell while you're farming dungeons for example this can be a bit complex so what he's explaining here and he explained it perfectly so I don't need to create another video about it but if you want to hear it from my own perspective I can do that just go by any means, if you stumbled upon my channel and you didn't check MTG Jedi yet, just go subscribe to his channel. One of the most helpful content creators out there, a great guy. 
So he's explaining how you can manually create this, determining which uh, gear you're keeping and which gear you're selling there. And then towards the end, what he's showing us, or maybe, yeah, here, he already created a couple of very complex lists. You see here, it's a very long list going through all um, artifacts. So you can just copy this file, come here, load setup, and put that file here. Where can you get this file? Go to MTGJDI's Discord. It's linked in the description of this video. And he has a channel called RSL Files. That's where you'll find this video and the couple of files that he talks about here. So instead of creating these files, you can just copy his. If you want to create your own, he's explaining how in the beginning. And then maybe you can create one for your whole clan or whatever that will make all of your lives easier. So RSL Helper is a great tool and you can use that same setup to sell artifacts from your inventory. And that's what he's explaining later on in the video, how to do that. No, we don't want the ad. So anyway... Uh, those are the two quick tips that I wanted to uh, share with you this week um, and as soon as this new clan boss uh, team is ready with Emic on a crazy account I will definitely show you why I chose this team uh, MTG by the way has a, a good uh, like the top three Emic clan boss teams go which is this one too but I'll show you which one I chose and why based on the champs I have on the crazy account and um, the, le the level of gear because it's a very important factor in building your clan boss team i basically spoiled half of the next video but yeah as soon as this is ready i will get it out to you and hopefully i can create a few videos and work is not as busy next week i hope this one was helpful um, keep playing great subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time